In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. When I have children and ask one of them to be beaten up and never to answer back, basically to be abused by his brother, would that be fair? Would that be right? Forget about that. How about if I advise one of my children, okay, to accept abuse from people, random people? Is that good? Is that right? Who would accept that? Why would God tell us to love our enemies and to give the other cheek and to give to those who ask and never to ask for anything back. Why is that? Is it easy? Is it doable? Can someone do that? Can any human being do that? What do you think? Can I ask my children to do something impossible? If I do that, aren't I setting them for failure? Like, why? Give us something easy that we can do. What do you think? Why would he ask such hard commandments that is impossible for human beings to do? Actually, the answer is inside in what Jesus said. He said the goal of all of this, that you may be children of your father, that you just become like your father because he does the same. He is merciful, he is giver, he is someone who loves those who hate him. People curse God and he would bless them every day. People would steal from God and he continue to bless them. So he said, you are the children of God and I want you just to be like your father. Well, but I'm not God. Well, but you are a child. And if you are a child, you have the inheritance. If you are a child, then you are given the DNA. You are given the qualities that you can do that. Okay, but I don't see that in my, myself. When I come to church, the first thing the church does, baptizes me and tells me, Congratulations, you are a child of God. Gives me the Holy Spirit and good luck. Go on. And when I go on in my life, I find it impossible. Sometimes it's hard to love those who love me, not to love the enemies. Where do I get this from? And is this for me or for someone else? This is only for the children of God. This is against humanity. This is not for humans. This is not for humans. St. Augustine said, he made them levels. He said, the animal level is the attack you before you do, without doing anything. That's why the animals, the attack, they start by attacking innocent people. Of course, we see a lot of humans are like that but they start to attack those who are peaceful. The second is the human level, which is they respond to attack with an attack. Similarly, you know, same size or something. And then he said, but the angelic and the heavenly is the return, the, 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 the abuse for blessing. This is heavenly, this is angelic, this is godly. This is not for humans to do. And if you read this and say, this is humanly impossible, and I'm a human being, and I can never do that, that's fine. That's 100% fine. But maybe you are not claiming your right as a child of God. 
you are given to live better than the life of human beings. We are given the Spirit of God to give us the personality of God. That's why this is the season of the Holy Spirit, the character of God. The, his behavior, his heart, his motives, everything about him. And our goal as children is just to be like our father. As a matter of fact, that's how you know if the child loves his father. Because if the child loves his father, he wants to do the same. He wants to be the same. He wants to imitate everything his father is doing. Similarly here, that you need to you know if you, if you want to be like him to be the children of the most high these commandments are not given to us to tease us that good luck you'll never be able to do these things never but these commandments are given to us to show us where i am called to be this is my goal. This is my goal. My goal is to be just like him. But I'm so far away from that. That is fine. But the worst thing is not that I'm so far away from this. The worst thing if I say, I will never be there. By the way, no matter what you do on earth, you can never be like this. Unless this is given to you from the Father. We can barely love those who love us. But to love the enemies, to be extremely patient, to be extremely giving without any expectations, to give, 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 and expect nothing in return, to be nice to friends, no matter how many times they dump me, they never return my calls, they're not as honest, or maybe they talk about me. And I know that. And I continue to bless them, and I continue to be a good friend with them. How? Every opportunity that I'm put in this situation, there is a call for me to live as a child of God. God, this is very hurtful. What's happening to me? What's going on in my life? I can never be thankful to evil things that are happening. How can I be like you? How can I be like you? How can I do that? Give me power from above. Make no mistake about it. The apostles, they were never like this. They denied. They were lying. They were weak. They were just like any one of us. Human weak human. But when the Holy Spirit came upon them, they became different people. Completely different. They were changed. They were able to live this heavenly life without effort. This life is a life full of joy. Not a life full of resentment. That I'm resenting the enemies. I'm resenting the bad that's happening in my life, never. And this is not coming, that doesn't come with a lot of pushing. Yeah, someone is, is just not nice to me, someone is abusive to me. And then I hold my tongue very, very, very hard, and I hold all my nerves very, very, very hard that I don't retaliate back. That's not it. That he's not talking about that. But he's talking about the peace that comes only from God. The natural response. Not the squeezing thing. Not the pushing myself. Because it comes natural. But the fruit of spirit. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, gentleness. Forget the last self control. What else? Did I miss anyone? Patient, that's the long suffering. Where where can I get these from him? 
What can I do to get these from him? Two things that we always have to focus on in our lives day in and day out. The feeding and the healing. Two things, the feeding and the healing. Every day we have to feed the spirit with the prayer, with the word of God. Because the more I feed myself with the word of God, with prayer, I'm feeding the spirit to be in full control in my life, to make me like Jesus. Every day I'm feeding the spirit. Every day I'm not living just for the here and now and the, 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 the needs of the flesh. Every day I'm feeding the spirit I'm growing in that, little by little. But the key to this is being consistent. Consistent. Not feeding one day in and one day, uh, one day on, one day off, but consistently growing. I will grow to this image. But not just the feeding. The second is the healing. What is the healing? When we were created, we were created like this. Just like that just like Christ, to love the enemies, to be peaceful, to be full of giving, full of love, full of sacrifice. This is my original creation. But after the fall, the image completely distorted. But in order to go back to the image of Christ, I have to heal all the hurts that came throughout my life, through the wrong choices that I made, through the upbringing that I have, through what's happening in the world day after day that made me the person that I am. I'm not in the image of Christ right now, but this is my goal. This is what I'm invited to. This is not for teasing us. This is to tell us, this is for you. Some people live that. Some people, a lot of people became on the image of Christ. They became the living Bible. They became Christ on earth, and this is our call. Heal me from the lack of patience that I have. Heal me from selfishness that is stopping me every day. Heal me from my pride that is bothering me every day. That is not from you. You're full of humility. Give me the humility of Jesus, but not one without the other. Every day I am feeding the spirit and I'm healing the hurt that happened in my life, in my soul, to restore to the image of Christ. Not to be a nice person, not just to be a good person, but to be in the image of Christ. This is our call. This is our invitation. And that's how we become like the apostles. That's how we serve. That's how we do mission work. That's why this gospel is read upon us on this fast of the apostles. Why? Because we are all called to serve. We are all called to do mission work. We are all called to grow the ministry. How? Through this. Through the life of Jesus. Not through the wisdom of the world. Not through learning and teaching. Not through anything except by the life of Jesus. Having the life of Jesus in me, day in and day out. I will conclude this with a story of someone who was an army chief. And they were supposed to go to Upper Egypt and attack and invade, because usually the north is strong, the south, not a lot of army there, so they went there to take over army and the army chief, everyone, everywhere, all the streets, take care of the entrance and the exits of the city, all of this, everything is good, everything is fine. Wow, that was a piece of cake. And then the soldier coming and telling him, something is strange. He said, what's going on? He said, people are too nice to us. Like they're bringing us food. They're actually being very nice with us. He 
I said, what's going on? Are they like putting poison in the food or anything? He said, no, they're just being very, very nice. So he called, checked what's going on. And he said, these are the Christians. Christians, what is Christianity? He said, Christianity is people, when they believe and when they live, they live differently. They live different than anyone else. Started to know that, and then he became Christian himself. Not only that he became Christian, he became a leader of monastic life. That's the story of Sam Bachomius, one of the leaders of the church, one of the leaders of monastic life. Someone came to know Christianity through the strange people who lived the life of Jesus. This is not an easy way to live. It is very peaceful, but it's a lot of abuse. It's a lot of bad words from the outside. It hurts, but somehow it's something different. It's something converting to the soul and to people around you. This is mission work. If there is anything different Christianity can give to people is the life of Jesus. Having it, living it, and giving it to others. That's our call. Receive this. This is yours. You're given the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. You're given His body and blood. You're given His words. To do what? To live good life? To live better than others? No. To live the life of Christ. We are called, my friends. Let's ask for that. Let's beg for that every day. Let us feed the Holy Spirit that we received on the day of our baptism. Maybe it's quenched inside of us. Maybe it's grieved within us. Maybe it's so thirsty inside of us. Let's feed him daily. And let's every day, when we see ourselves not on the image of Jesus, not to be discouraged, not to be discouraged, but tell him, why? I want to be like Jesus. This is my request. This is my prayer. This is what I want. And this is my goal in life. Help me and give me because I am your child and I have the right to be like you. Glory be to God forever and ever.